I'm going to show you how I live stream directly from the A10 Mini Pro using the A10 Mini Pro's built-in encoder to YouTube Live. While this tutorial is for YouTube Live, you can use the same process for Twitch, Facebook, Vimeo, or any other platform that uses the RTMP protocol and provides you a stream key for your live stream. My name is George and for the past nine years as a professional filmmaker, I've created live streams and commercial content for Facebook, Google, and the NFL. Here's a list of the things you're going to need. The A10 Mini Pro, an A10 Mini Pro power supply, a camera connected to the A10 Mini Pro, a computer, an ethernet cable. Assuming your computer doesn't have an ethernet port, you'll also need an ethernet adapter, a USB type C cable that connects between your A10 Mini Pro and your computer. And this is optional, but I highly recommend it. It's super helpful to have an external monitor that you connect to the multi-view of your A10 Mini Pro. Also, for live streaming, you'll need a fast internet connection. I want my internet upload speed to be double the bit rate. So if I wanna stream at six megabits per second, which is what I'll be using as a preset for my 30 frames per second live stream, I want internet speeds that are double that. So I want at least 12 megabits per second for my upload speed. While this tutorial is made for the A10 Mini Pro, it would also apply to the A10 Mini Pro ISO, but it would not work with the A10 Mini. The A10 Mini does not have an encoder built in. First, go over to blackmagicdesign.com and download the latest version of the ATEM Switchers software application. After you download the application, install it onto your computer. It's super important that you're on the latest version of the ATEM Switchers software because Blackmagic Design is constantly making improvements both in the software and hardware and also fixing bugs. After you install the latest version of the ATEM Switchers application, go ahead and connect your ATEM Mini Pro to your computer using the USB Type-C cable. Once the ATEM Mini Pro is connected, open up the application called ATEM Setup. If your ATEM Mini Pro's firmware needs to be updated, when you open up ATEM Setup, you'll see a pop-up dialog that tells you that the ATEM Mini Pro has to be updated. So go ahead and follow along with the firmware update instructions. Just as a side note, when I first tried to update the firmware, for whatever reason, it didn't work. So what I did was I powered down the A10 Mini Pro, I disconnected it from my computer, I closed down the software, and then I reconnected everything, and I ran the firmware update one more time, and it worked the second time. Now you're on the latest version of the software and the latest version of the firmware. Open A10 Setup and click the left option, the one that kind of looks like a document, and go to Network Settings and click IP Settings. Make sure to have selected DHCP, and then click save, and you can go ahead and close ATEM setup for now. Next, head on over to studio.youtube.com and navigate over to the control room of the event that you're going to live stream. If you haven't yet created the event, go ahead and do that. And once you make it into the control room, you're gonna copy the stream key for that event. Now that we're here in the control room, there's actually one other thing that you wanna make sure to do. On the right-hand side, you'll see an option that says enable auto start. Make sure not to have that selected. Now we're going to open ATEM Software Control. And then on the right hand side where you see stream key, go ahead and paste the stream key that you had just copied. Now we'll also set up our camera and our audio settings. Inside ATEM Software Control, navigate over to the bottom left corner where you see the settings icon. Go ahead and click that. So in the first tab, general, I wanna set my video standard to match my camera. For my live stream, I'll be sending a 2997 frames per second video signal from my Canon EOS R to YouTube Live. Next, I'll click the audio tab. For my audio setup, I'm sending a line level mono signal from my mix pre-recorder into the mic one input of the A10 Mini Pro. I'm here in the audio settings and we have two tabs. The first tab, split audio, we're gonna leave that all unchecked. Like I said, I'm sending a mono signal and split audio would be really helpful if I was doing a stereo signal with multiple mic inputs, but for this, it doesn't apply. The next tab, general, We'll go ahead and click that. I'm sending my audio mix into the mic one input and my mix is a line level mix. So for mic one, we're gonna go ahead and select line and then I'll go ahead and click done. On the bottom, we've got switcher, media, audio and camera. I'm gonna go ahead and click audio, go to mic one and then on the bottom, I'm gonna click on. Now I know that it's on because it's highlighted orange and I see my audio meters going green to yellow and I love where it's hitting. As a general rule of thumb, I like to have my audio meters right at around negative 10 dB and that's exactly where my audio is going. And now to do a final check, I would go ahead and do that test recording using QuickTime. So I would open up QuickTime, do a new recording, either movie or audio, and then play it back and make sure my audio sounds exactly how I want it to. Now we're gonna need to test the internet connection speed that you have. So connect the ethernet cable to your computer, either directly using the ethernet port that's on your computer or using the ethernet adapter. So one ethernet cable end is gonna go into your Wi-Fi router or your internet modem, and then the other end of the cable is gonna plug into your computer. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to verify that your internet signal is working now that you've connected ethernet. 
you're not going to want to use Wi-Fi for this because you're going to want to use the internet speed that's provided over the Ethernet cable for the A10 Mini Pro because the A10 Mini Pro doesn't have a Wi-Fi adapter. A simple way to do this is to turn off the Wi-Fi on the computer and then go to the internet and make sure that it's working over the cable connection. And if it's not, then you're going to have to do some of your own troubleshooting there on the network settings side or the internet settings to figure out what's going on with the internet cable. For internet speed tests, I like to use the website speed.measurementlab.net. Measurement Lab provides the largest collection of data for internet speed performance on the entire planet. It's really great and I recommend it highly. Speedtest.net is also good, but I always go to speed.measurementlab.net. I like to do the internet speed test three times. Why three? Well, it's a magic number. Now you're gonna wanna unplug the ethernet cable from your computer, turn your computer's Wi-Fi back on, and now plug that ethernet cable into the back of the A10 Mini Pro's Ethernet port. And now the last step is to select a preset for my YouTube live stream. My internet speeds would support up to about a 15 to 20 megabit stream, but the maximum bit rate that YouTube really recommends and supports for a 2997 live stream is around six to eight megabits per second. I'll go back into ATEM software control. On the right hand side here under the quality, I'll click that drop down, and I'm gonna go ahead and select the streaming high preset which is a six megabit per second preset. If you were wanting to do your own exact custom bitrate setting, you could also do that through modifying the XML uh, document that is provided with ATEM software, but we're not gonna get into that in this tutorial. So now the last step is to go ahead and click on air. And I've got two places where I can click on air. I can either click on air in the ATEM software control right here on the right hand side. And then on the actual ATEM Mini Pro switcher, you've got a button that says on air. It's in the upper right corner. And so after you click on air, you'll see that under live stream, it starts blinking red. And that lets you know that your live stream signal is being sent to the YouTube servers. As a reminder, your live stream is not yet live. Your live stream won't be live until you go into the YouTube live control room and click the blue button that says go live. So ATEM software control and my multi-view monitor both say that I have an okay signal. It's giving me a rough idea as to where my bitrate is. And so now I'm gonna navigate over to the YouTube studio live control room and I see that my signal is being processed and that my streaming condition is excellent. So the next step is I'll go ahead and put on some headphones and I'm gonna play the little video that's being played here in the left hand side and just make sure to listen in and see that my audio and video are synced. The last step now to actually start my live stream is to go inside the YouTube Studio Live Control Room and in the upper right corner, I'm gonna go ahead and click the blue Go Live button. And that's it, congratulations. You're now streaming from your A10 Mini Pro to YouTube Live. If this tutorial was helpful, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and then let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in the future. Catch you next time.